All right, old man, what are we talking about in here today? And why is it a pair? Why is a pair of glasses the intro image? <laughs> we talking about that fourth industrial revolution technology. <laughs> why you say it like that? Anyway, come on, man, let's get let's get on with it. Let's do it. You ain't even gonna argue about the kind of video that we making today. No, why would I? What's the, what's the point? What's the point? We ain't got nothing else ready, do we? Right? We don't. So, no, we're just going to roll with it. Whatever. As long as you got the material, let's do it. Well, that made the intro kind of stale. All right, before we get into this thing, shout out to Game Reactor for the download. I actually tried to do this right on the website, but they had this these brackets that kept popping up on the video interface. I just couldn't get jiggy with that, so had to do the download version. All right, so let's talk about these, see what they got to say about these Vuzix Smart Glasses. This is uh, being interviewed is Sebastian Andrew. <laughs> the director of business development E M E A at Vuzix. E I don't to be for real, I don't know what E M E A stand for. But he got a fancy title, director of business development, so the horse's mouth if you will. <laughs> let's uh let's see. Uh, go back. Whoop. All right. Hello friends, we are showstoppers on the ETH of Mobile World Congress 2022 and for a brief moment I was like Samus Aran or Iron Man as I was trying out Vuzix smart glasses. Thank you so much for joining us Sebastian. First off, what can we tell people smart glasses are actually and how can they help them work? Well, smart glasses in general are helping the ver the ver user who is using it. Uh, to be more productive, to, to save time, because he has the information directly on the glasses uh, and can see what he has to do, or if he face an issue, he can call a remote expert to assist him in that dedicated case. So, what we... Hold on, you can call remote assistance from the glasses? Hold on. Here is our new most recent product, the Shields, which is with two waveguides and two cameras having a vehicular image in front of the look at these bad boys them i don't know if y'all see look at these look they almost not even crazy bigger than my glasses are right now some of y'all didn't know shooks had a pair of these yeah sometimes i'm blind I don't know, I don't wear them that often anymore. Now when I put them on, they like magnifying glasses. Boy, they kind of... <laughs> if I ain't that, I always... Let me stop. <laughs> but they ain't that, uh, they ain't that big. Look, they got a little camera on the inside of them. Like a camera that would fit like... Look, I got a little thing. This ain't no camera, I'm for real, but look. Like, they, you can see, like, they can fit... Wow. It's crazy or at the side because we can configure that and he has a micro and audio so he can connect by Wi-Fi or by Bluetooth can connect uh, anyone and so more or less replace the smartphone capability and have an application which is running on it which then either executes workflows for him like uh, picking and logistic or field engineering checking data on the machine itself or something like that or just have in healthcare uh, remote access uh, or give and allow remote access to others to support them in an accident uh, uh, case or whatever so. so it's plenty of things you can tap in his glasses and call him tech support hello tech support tech support come on come on y'all with a smartphone but of course without the need of using the smartphone itself so how do you operate them when you when you have them on uh, we have several options um, we are strong believer of augmented reality that's hands-free so uh, you have a touchpad you have in our former devices you have also buttons which we have now uh, taken away you have voice recognition 
So we have a very strong raw voice uh, application since last year, where we um, have some kind of like um, an Echo or Alexa we have here on built in. So it's really commands driven. You can configure these commands on your proposed for your customers terminology use. And it's seven uh, standard language like Spanish, German, French, English, Mandarin, Cantonese, which are already built in as a recognition and we're building on other languages like Italian or whatever. And, and we can also go for gestures, but we do not recommend that. We are driving and moving into the direction. Smartphone of integration. integration. Yeah. Uh, let's focus on the picture itself. Uh, you just picture whipped them bad boys uh, out. Feature. Uh, while I was trying them out, I was seeing this sort of green demonstration. So what type of pictures can you produce? Can you project in, inside the glass? Well, it's depending also on the application we have. So you have to see Vuzix as, as a <laughs> My man got on two masks. I can't the even most hear. Best fit that all the capabilities a software needs to drive are given. So voice, uh, camera, uh, capturing videos or record, recording videos or capturing images and so on. All these are built in. Yeah. But you can, of course, have uh, any kind of application on top of these devices. Like we are partnering with AMA or um, uh, Team Viewer or with Zoom or even AMS Teams, we are capable to run. Wow. So you can drive these uh, over these devices and, and use them as regular glasses, then in that manner. Yeah. Wow. Before the interview, you mentioned that you're not. They got Microsoft Teams and Zoom. This is your own system. No, no, we are using Android. We are operating now. They got Microsoft Teams and Zoom already. Those are, uh, well, Zoom is kind of a everything. You know, everybody kind of uses Zoom for everything. But Microsoft Teams, for sure, that's a lot of businesses use that with the O360, O365 suite. Come on, y'all. This is right there. This is, oh. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Android 10 with these devices. Uh, we have always used Android. You know, some of our clients uh, are in their enterprise, either stick on contracts they have done or they do not trust Android in the summer or whatever. And to give these uh, customers the chance to use our devices as well, we have now cleaned out with one of our devices, the M400C, the, 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 the duty to use Android. Instead, they can choose by a smartphone, whatever, or Windows, Microsoft operating system to use these instead. Yeah, so that's the, that's the, the change we are not doing. So we are not going away from Android, but we extend the reach and the usage. Yeah. Now that I see that you, you guys are, are getting uh, lighter and more uh, standard looking glasses by the day so do you think we can expect regular glasses to be like this and pretty unnoticeable being smart glasses like and 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 being everywhere uh, in the near future absolutely so i think the shields is one which is very coming very close to this yeah so look at this my man's is saying look we already got the glasses that work we just got to make them smaller that's that's all they wait on is to make them smaller. You got to figure out how to make them smaller. But low key, this bad boy, look, y'all, it got the wire. It's like a wire inside it. They could, it's crazy that my glasses look the same shape almost. Look at this. If you see inside the glasses right there, I got a little wire. Say what if they run their little technology right inside of one of them things, bro. Get real. You see from the front side, if I can show that here, it's, it's, it looks like a regular glasses, yeah? It, you have all the components built in on the side and so on, which makes it a little bit, the hinge is too long compared and maybe thicker. But as long as the components are still getting smaller, we are coming closer to a regular glasses. And of course, the target of everybody is, whoever is as a hardware vendor, is looking wow. for all these optical reseller network in the world that they you go over there and you just say okay i want a sunglass with ar components in it yeah so that's just for it. safety glasses absolutely okay safety glasses <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely so you mentioned yes closing one this this one the newest model which is the shield which is uh, hasn't released yet it will come this year um let's say mid this year it will be released uh and it's uh, it's coming with these green monochrome colors but these two waveguides and all that features you have tested already yeah and 
and it will come out this year and we'll see how it will drive and change the market. Uh, at what price approximately? It's, um, it's not released yet, let's say so. Uh, we have our prices we have here in Europe is uh, for our traditional models are uh, for the blade 930 euro. We have for the M400 we have 1700 as a retail list price and the M4000 wow. is then with two, um, two three is, is there as well. So in that range I would expect the pricing but it's not yet uh, release the price. Yeah. Wow. 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 So, man. Man. So, what y'all think about that? That was like, in case you don't know nobody who wear glasses right now, I'm saying they really wasn't that far off. And besides the little antennas. Or whatever they were had going on back here in the fat back ears. I mean, you. He said all they wait on is to make them smaller. But two stacks right now, two stacks to get you a. He said two to three stacks for the newest model, something like that was the expectation. They to get you the uh, the newest model. <laughs> but let's go ahead. Oh, oh, that's right. We got one. Let's take a look at a little bonus item. I threw this one in there just because it was short. Let's take a look at a little bonus. Uh, piece of fourth industrial revolution tag. Shout out to our friends over at uh, Katana Inu for this one. <laughs> Katana Inu, in case you didn't know it, said in a bunch of videos, is a partner of the green team. They have a partnership now. And so this here was at the Crypto Dubai conference. Look at the tech that they got over in Dubai. Ever always think that, let me tell you something, the US. We ain't got the most recent technology bouncing around all the time. Let me tell you that much. Let's take a look. Play, maybe? There we go. This is all good. This is pretty dope. Is that the... Hi, how are you? DJ time. <laughs> This is a robot at the Crypto Dubai conference. He just walked up and started talking to it. The robot was like, DJ time. <laughs> Look at these, they got little mini bots. You're going around getting in the big made bot. This is just at the conference, y'all. Just. That's wild. So guys, that's wild, but that's uh that's what I wanted to show from that. We're getting to the other half of that little video in the future. I'm definitely gonna have to do a little video speaking on katana inuits. So definitely gonna have to take a look at what they got going on and see if we can find out some more things about that partnership. But folks, that has been your new tech dose. <laughs> what do you think about uh, the Vuzix glasses? Do you got some technology out there that you think we should know about that not there's, that there's not a lot of coverage on? You think we should take a look at? Leave it down in the comment section below. By the way, if you made it this far, definitely go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and think about subscribing. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and end this one with a question. Psych. I'm back. So let's go critical on this one. So do y'all think these glasses is cool or do y'all think they scary? Y'all think they dope or y'all think they scary, right? Because, uh, so let's talk about the dope. So AR, augmented reality, right? Uh, that's what AR stands for, augmented reality. So if anybody's ever played like Pokemon Go, when it makes the Pokemon look like it's jumping around on your couch when it's really not, right? It's portraying the image as augmented reality, AR. So. These glasses, any and when you use those, those apps have to have access to your camera, right? Because it uses your camera to, you know, gather the background image to throw the Pokemon out there. So these glasses, anyone wearing these glasses is essentially walking around with a camera on their face. So you, you could be being recorded at any time. You could be being recorded at any time. <laughs> 
But the glasses sound dope, right? So is that dope or is that creepy? Hey, so is that dope or is that creepy? No, y'all let me know. What do you think about that? And how about our friends over at the Dubai conference, the uh, conference robots? What do y'all think about those? Y'all ready to have robots popping up at the company conference? <laughs> let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section below. And until next time, don't get shook. Stay focused. I'm out. <laughs> I tried to be out, I used the wrong hand. Hey, what's your mission? Mine is winning. My ambition, keep me winning. Done with wishing. Shut up and listen. My ambition, simple winning. What's your